All right, welcome into or welcome back into Market Day Report. I'm Scott Shelley, otherwise known as Calgary. Thank you very much for tuning us in. It's a privilege to be with you here today. Let's talk about what the markets are doing because they're doing a lot right now, folks. We had Jay Powell, the chairman of the Fed, come out and say some uh, words just recently that's kind of roiled things up a little bit. Let's see if it's affected our grains very much. Let's start with uh, corn. Let's bring up that corn board. And it's still a little bit better here. Last time we checked, this is where it's at. Maybe we actually put a penny on here. Three and a half cents higher. These corns, 4.95 and a half, and that's only about a penny, penny and a quarter off the high. But three and three quarter cents higher. As you go up the deferreds, we're up between a penny and a penny and a half. All right, that's corn. Let's move to beans. Beans on and they're down a quarter cent right now. If the 13, 10 and three quarters is last, it was unchanged last time we were there. So that's only moved about a quarter cent. We're off between two and a half and five and three quarter cents as you go out the deferreds, but no beans. 13, 10 and three quarters down just one tick, a quarter cent. Wheat in Chicago, well, that's up five and a half cents in the front month. That's Dees, 5.85 and three quarters is last there. Four cents from the high of the day, and we've got about a 13 cent range. So five and a, cent, five and a half cents higher. Dees wheat in Chicago, 585 and a half. There you go. All right, let's move on to see what the wheat is doing in Kansas City. That's the hard red. That's down a quarter cent, one tick. <clears throat> 670 and a quarter is last there. And we're in the middle of the range, which goes from 663 basically to 675. We're unchanged now, both March and Dees. Hard red wheat are unchanged. 670 and a half is last, and that's the Dees. Moving to the spring wheat in Minneapolis, uh, down a quarter cent, one tick. Very quiet there. 733 and a quarter is last. About three and a half cents off the high of the day. And we've got a decent range over there, but, well, no, not really, actually. I lied. <laughs> seven cents. I thought it was bigger. Uh, March is up a quarter cent to 7.55 right behind it. And then finally, we've got cotton. Let's take a look at that. It was a little bit weaker. It still is, about 18 points weaker to 84. Oh, six, 35 points away. Well, no, like, that's 24 points away from the high of the day. All right. Let's uh, bring in our next guest, Dallas. It's uh, the, the venerable Tommy Grissop. He's with Advanced Trading coming to us from Valparaiso, Indiana. Tommy, um, yeah, we've had some news uh, kind of drop here that uh, could affect a lot of the things we trade. When interest rates go up, a lot of things don't like it. Well, we spent how many years artificially just holding that ball under the water and they're letting go of that ball and all the kids are flying all over. And, and, and these kids, would it's affecting the cattle market. It's affecting all the markets. There are not just one, but two generations of people, traders, uh, adults who buy things, sell things, who really don't understand interest rates. I mean, they may have been explained it to it in school, but when you go to buy a new pickup or you go to buy a new piece of farm machinery, and you look down and say interest on that pickup truck for the year is going to be 7000 it was 2000 last year something's changed when you look at the overall picture of the markets that you either have cash or you're borrowing money there's no in the middle unless you could think of something in the middle there is no in the middle and so as our government and Paul came out just a few minutes ago and just rocked the bond market i got to pick up the red phone scotty cuz guess what 5.10 in the 30 year and the 10 year yield is about ready to touch 5%. And when that happens, all the people have been sleeping or not paying attention are gonna wake up. Maybe 5% doesn't seem like a lot, but this isn't 1980. And when you talk about farmers, all the farm meetings I do, I say, how much money were you borrowing when you almost went broke in 1980? And the hands go up 100, 200. I've never heard of anyone borrowing a million dollars in 1980 at 20%. I almost don't know anyone right now in the ag space who doesn't borrow a million dollars. That's just ag. Then you look at the tech sector and you look at everything else, those outside markets we love to talk about. This is a real big deal, folks. I know sometimes you see Scotty and I come on and joke around, but if the Fed doesn't get a hold of inflation, it's going to come at a cost, and that will mean that they have to slow down the economy, and that's a fine line. As far, far as this smooth landing they keep talking about, doesn't seem like it's happening. Back to you, brother. Just to put a finer point on it, a two hundred fifty thousand pound more or two hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgage. Boy, my English comes back. Um, just uh, one week ago, at seven and a half percent interest versus today, it's now eight percent. The mortgage on, on a two uh, on two hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgage has gone up ninety dollars a month in one week. Your mortgage, uh, mm -hmm. that that's that's pretty historic. So we got to keep all these things Can in I mind. And we got to we got to jump. But uh, right, go ahead, ten seconds. The United States government owes more money than anyone else in the world. $33, $34 trillion. Let's take a break. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. We're going to go away. We're going to pay some bills. We got what Tommy Wade. We'll be right back with the uh, livestock after this. 
All right, welcome back in. Let's get to these prices. This is going to be the livestock section, right? You got to wear, you got to do the livestock when you're wearing a cow jacket. Let's look at the live cattle. Let's bring the live cattle board up and it's off. All of these things don't like higher rates, do they? $2.10 lower in the Deese live cattle. 185 tens last there, just a dime off the low of the day. Feeders, they're also taking a leg lower, 440 lower in that Nove contract, $4.40 lower to 245.32, and that too is about 15 cents off the low of the day there. So everything kind of getting hit here after those Powell comments. Let's take a look at Lean Hogs, and we'll get back to Tommy. Lean Hogs, uh, that these contracts uh, down 42 cents to 67.60, and that too is about 17 cents uh, off the, yeah, 27 cents off the low of the day. All right, let's bring back in Tommy. Went through that real quick to give you some more time there, Tommy. I mean, this uh, this is going to be a problem, and it's not going to go away. And if we if we don't do something about it, um, there could be some ramifications, right? Absolutely. Question a viewer would love to say if they could have a pop up: Are the highs in in cattle? Let's go the other way. If you're a speculator and have a million dollars, do you think now is the time to go pay record high for cattle prices, or do you just take that money and put it in that now five point five one two three month T bill. So the, the the expense of raising protein is it's it's increasing so much. Not to mention we've had a bump in soybean meal, we're having a little bump in corn. The feed prices aren't just, you know, they looked like they were going a lot lower and that was great for the anyone producing protein, but now they're creeping back up. There's some headwinds coming in the cattle. Keep an eye on the stock market. If that Dow was to have your down 1500, down 2500 and you start scaring people, you'll see even more people Run from riskier assets to the sure thing. It's been a lot, long time since we talked about grandma can make 5.5% just for crocheting. Back to you, my friend. That's, it's true. The stock market's come back a little bit here. We're just uh, slightly better on the day. We'll see if the, we can continue to whistle by the graveyard, but that's something that we're going to have to keep an eye on, too. That's for sure. All right, Tommy, thanks uh, for bringing that up for us, bringing that news to us. Tommy Grasafi is with Advanced Trading, great friend of the show, great friend of the Cowguy Cloves. We'll bring it back home and hand it back to you, Suzanne.